Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I want to show you now how to organize your Google Drive. So first, you're going to watch this instructional video that's obviously posted right here. Um, you're going to be going into your Google Drive and finding your seventh grade folder and your art and design folder. So here's how you do that. So uh, I'm going to go to my example drive here. Again, you should have two folders, maybe even three, sixth, seventh, and eighth grade folder. Click the seventh grade folder. And then in that folder, you might see several of your classes. Here's a mock-up of a, of a kind of a, a fake schedule or example schedule. Go to art and design. And then you're going to have several different units here. Now, I've realized that our units have kind of got started to get a little bit more confusing now. Um, so instead of calling them units, we're just going to rename them. So um, here's what we're going to be doing. Uh, we're going to create a new folder. And we're going to call this shoe design. Don't worry about the number because um, it's going to get a little contradictory um, based off of uh, what a Google Classroom looks like. Again, in this is where we're going to be putting all your resources for this upcoming project. Now what I want you to do is go to this link here for the design packet or go to Google Classroom under resources and click this same document here. It's the same here or here. Okay, um, once you have this design packet opened, you're going to click File, Make a Copy. And once you've made a copy of that, then you can edit this. And this is what we're going to be using the next couple days to um, brainstorm and collaborate and work on your shoe design. Now, I also want you to move this into your new folder. So click, um, let me make a copy of it. Let me actually make a copy of it. Make a copy. file and you're going to be moving this all right now pay attention all right so you're going to be going to your um seventh grade folder you're going to go to your art and design folder and you're going to go to your new folder called shoe design and you're going to be moving it here click move once you move that there then you can go back to um, the folder that you just created and you can see that that was just put in there, okay? So again, you have your resources for their other uh, projects nice and organized, and I want to make sure you're doing the same thing for shoe design. So that's how you complete um, those steps there.